Hello guys, we'll start with our discussion. This is about array. This is very quick and I want you to watch the entire video. Okay, how to uh, enter the numbers of uh, integers using the array. So we have to declare a variable x. Okay, let's add pair. Interrupt ar. And then we have three. Three is the number of the elements inside the array. At the same time, let us, what you call this, um, tell the user to enter the array. Enter the number of arrays. Okay. So we will have to edit here. Okay. The inline statement. This is to terminate the statement. Next is we need to declare another variable x equals to zero. This is our counter x less than two, three, because we have only three elements inside the array. And then we need to increment the value of x. Okay. After that, we ask the user to enter now the array std and then is this stands for standards and we have your scene. Okay, let us use now the ar and then we need to bring down the counter. Okay. Three. Counter x. Okay. So this is how we enter. Okay. End of entering the arrays. This is part of the input process. Okay, let us now display the array. How to display it? Okay, let us put it here. Display the arrays. Okay, using R. Now, how, if you want to display the array, well, of course, we need also to uh, use the iteration, okay, or the loop. How to do that? So for int, we have num1. Num1 equals to 0. So num1 is our variable here. We initialize it to 0. And at the same time, we need to compare the value of num1 to what to three because we have only three sets of elements set array and of course we need to num one increment it plus plus okay and then we start with the loop now we use the state is this stands for standards okay so we can use c out and then the numbers these are the arrays entered okay so what will happen right here? So we need to provide now the value of the array. The array is AR, but this time we'll use the num1 as our counter. So we bring down the R, R, A R R, and then num1. And then we put the terminator for our statement. Okay, the end line. Of course, please don't forget to uh, check the grammar of your uh, C program. At the same time, we need to put C right here. This is to terminate the entire program. So when we run the program, okay, please watch. Okay, let us check. Okay, at the same time, if there are errors, well, of course, we need to debug it. Okay, enter number of arrays. It's say 12, 3, 4. Okay, if we enter that, these are the values of arrays 12, 2, and 4. I'm sorry, that's that was 12, 2, and 4. Okay, now let's say we use the 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 C what pre processor. This is to create the constant okay constant are fixed what data okay Th that is uh, uh, totally different to your variable so if you want to use the c++ um, preprocessor we can use the define i'm pretty sure that you can still recall what we have discussed in our previous video using this uh, command no uh, that was in my previous video please watch it okay now let's say we want to change the value or we want to change this um, number okay this is a literal number three this is what you call this an operand but we need to put the constant right here like for example the constant is size three okay that's how you declare the constant okay so the value of size is three then we can change this to size okay when you run the program and of course that's uh, okay uh, if, uh, the same to the previous output okay let us run the program Okay, let us uh, see if uh, this is correct. Okay, that's correct. We can say 10, 2, 3. Okay. When we enter the program, well, of course, it will display the numbers of arrays. We can 10, 2, 3. Because the size of the array is 3. If you count the number of array that is 0 from the index, address 1, 2. So the offset is 0. The address of 10 is 0. The address of 2 is one that is of three is two okay the size of this uh constant is three okay you're not allowed to use the semicolon okay but in the old version well of course in the general version of c plus plus i think i still use the c the, the semicolon but here i'm not using the c the c uh, the semicolon anymore now let's say we want to create a macro okay what's the macro that is like shortcut shortcut statement okay of your c plus plus 
commands. Okay, that's the purpose of the macro. The shortcut. Oops, this is shortcut. Now, how to use that macro? Not that macro. That uh, macro command. Macro. Okay. Define. Like for example, we need to define the statement that will replace the standard C out command. Okay. The equivalent of the C out command in the old version of your C++ program is, of course, we have using the print if command. Okay, we can still use this thing. Okay, until now, you can use this print if command. How to do that? Let's say we use display. Okay, and we press the space bar again and then use the print if. And then let's say hello, C++ learners. Okay, now we assign display as part of our macro command to the C++ what print if command okay if we put that in the main program okay let's say we put it right here we put it here this display so when we run the program the first thing the first output that will be uh, unleashed in the screen is hello c++ learners okay let us put here the slash n slash n is to bring the cursor to the next line okay so that's the purpose of slash n slash t that's for tabbing okay so we will use the slash n right here again we'll let us test the program and run it okay let's see what will happen so we have the error okay so error enter the numbers of our inline internal pane before std okay let us check that so i think we have a problem right here i think we missed the semicolon here in the main program okay let's run the program again so when we run the program Expect that hello C++ learners will come out. Okay, hello C++ learners. Now, uh, this is now the importance of the slash n. It will go to the next line. And you can see that we ask the user here to enter the arrays. Okay, so we enter the arrays 10, 2, 3. Okay, remember these arrays are part of this what? Of this constant data. The size is 3. So we need only to enter the 3 uh arrays right here now when we press the enter key okay oops let's check that enter key okay so these are the arrays entered the integers 10 2 and 3 now what if okay what if we again what you call this uh, define our own uh, a constant or a macro uh, statement so that our uh so that this uh statement will mimic this end line statement of your c out in c and what will you do okay so you need to use define and then we can use new line you can use your own variable okay and then we will put the single quotation slash n okay this is the macro the constant that will uh, bring the statement in the next line just like your end line now let's say we put it right here okay how to do that we just copy here new line instead of using this thing we can use the new line now when we run the program okay let's just check okay all right that's it so we have here the same thing it will happen okay one that's it so this is your new line this new line is the same to your end line because we uh, created a macro statement at the top so we have here the three constant the size we have here the display that creates the macro for the print it command this is equivalent to your c out command okay and we have the new line that will mimic the statement of your end line and we use it at the bottom right here okay that's the purpose of that Okay. Question will uh, display the, the smallest element inside the array. How to do that? Okay, let us uh, change the size to five. I only change this thing. Okay. Now, um, when we uh, find the lowest array, we need to declare a variable to reference with that array. So our array here is AIR, and then we have here the size of five. This is the constant that we declared at the top. So we need to declare another variable right here. How to do that? So int, okay, please think of your own variable. Okay, let us use low data. Mine is low data. Then we need to, to, to infuse what? ER0. We are telling the um, program that uh, this low data is 
being referenced to the value of zero, part of ARR variable. Okay. Now, the next thing we do is, okay, what will happen right here? So we need to, what, create the loop. After the loop, we validate the data. Sorry. After validating, then we display the smallest data. Okay. Now, to do that, we need to declare a variable right here for int. Then, then we have to use another variable. Okay, let us uh, use find it or find one equals zero. Okay. And then find one less than two. And then we need to use the size of. The purpose of size of is to return uh, the allocated uh, memory of your data types. Let's say, for example, the integer, the floats, the string. Okay. We will discuss that in our next, next video. So, AR, and then we have to div divide this to size of ER and then the value of zero. So the purpose of this is to get the numbers of size of uh, the data inside our array and to find that what you call this the smallest element of the array. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I erased that size of ER. Then ER size of. Okay. AR zero. Okay. And then we need to increment the value of what find one okay let us super find one okay now inside here we need to what compare value of that ar find one this is the counter okay if it is less than two low data where is that low data well of course we are referencing it to the array at the top so what will happen if it is less than two low data then we assign low data to the smallest array okay that is ar find one okay after that we need to print the value of the smallest array in the program so we have that well smallest array uh array is oh sorry i am a bit tired <laughs> okay now we need to prove to to to, to uh, check here the low data and bring down Okay, our um, constant, the new line. Okay, new line. I'm sorry. Okay, then we pair the statement of the if to our else case statement. So this is a decoy command. Okay, just to pair it. Pairing. Okay. Uh, new underscore line. Okay, let us run the program. Okay, so this is the end of your if statement and this is the end of your what loop and this is the end of the main program okay when we run the program okay what's let's run the program let's just check the program i think we have here the size of okay wrong spelling is wrong that is very important okay now we will enter the numbers of array that is five arrays okay let us check the program 10 Okay, 2, 4, uh, 30, 50. Uh, when we enter that, what will happen? So the smallest array is 2. Okay, okay. Please uh, review this uh, code and uh, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe in this channel. Thank you so much for watching.